Wake up, everybody. It is spring, and now's the time to have some fun. We want you to have color in your life. Frankie Ferragini brought so much color. Oh, my gosh. Hey. This is why they call him Frankie Flowers. Look Love at what it. he shows up with. I mean, you just lit up the set. And this is all about indoor plants that you're going to want for Easter, for spring, to have mm -hmm. some fun, bring some light into your life. Um, but you just need to be aware of a few things when it comes to indoor plants. Yeah, some plants we want to always be aware of what we're bringing inside our home. Yeah. Uh, especially if we have some kids out there that are maybe deciding upon eating something or even pets like that. They but eat first, it all. Let's talk about the color. Let's talk yeah. about the beauty. And if you can take a look over on the far side there to our left. And that would be to your right, to the cameraman. Yes. Um, beautiful little arrangement that you have there that would just be welcoming to any front door or to your indoors as well. A combination of everything from great piacins to you got the beautiful pink hydrangeas that are there, primulas with the beautiful pussy willows as well. And, and that just really... But look at this guy. Hi, I'm just I a know. little No, but that just says Easter, right? right? Once you so throw cute. that in... Look at it. I think yeah. that's so great. So this is from, is it from Sheridan? It's from Sheridan Nurseries. Everything here is from Sheridan Nurseries. And you helped build all of this. Yeah. You're you're very good, Frank. That's we, amazing. We like to have fun. Busy like a bunny. Have you ever it. heard that term? You are busy. Hardest working man yeah. in showbiz, I'll tell you. Take a look over here, too. If you want to talk about accessorizing, one, one of the biggest trends right now in indoors are terrariums, succulent yes. terrariums. People want to build fairy gardens, but this is a really nice little cute little take where you can put the two little bunnies in there, some colored stones. I want to warn people, though, this looks really nice. This has got a Teddy Tet daff that's inside. Uh -huh. That's not going to last a long time. Okay. That's kind of like a flower arrangement. You yeah. put it out, everybody goes, wow, you're so creative, you're so cool, I know you like me, and then this <laughs> is going to last maybe about four or five days, and right. then it's going to be gone. So, so don't get too attached, because yeah. it can't live in there like that, but that is so impressive if you're having a dinner party or a brunch, having people over, that's really beautiful. Yeah, I say that's here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Kind of, like, it kind of like the theme of my life. <laughs> so take a look at this that you could use for a little table centerpiece. As soon as you start in incorporating moss, for me it's just like that sign of spring. Mm -hmm. And you can see where you have the birch stems that are on here, a little bit of rockery with almost the spring bulbs popping through. This is mimicking what happens outdoors, indoors. Yeah. And this is just really, really quite nice for a long table. So people are really um, adding in a lot of those natural elements. You can do that. Your place, you've got a, a gorgeous yeah. forest. You've got a ton of land behind you yeah. bring some of that in and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money no. just mix and match it no and the moss you could actually collect on your own too you could um, so one thing I want to warn people about is coming up as we have Easter and this is the most common plant for the indoor for Easter and yep. even though it's not blooming right now mm -hmm. which is the Easter lily mm -hmm. the Easter lily is a beautiful plant that lasts a long time that actually has a beautiful fragrance but at the same token is very toxic Oh, so, it will kill you. It, it, well, pe it, pets? It will kill your pets. Actually, it will. It, it will. It's po it's, so it's poisonous. Yeah, probably the worst part about this entire plant is its root system. Yeah. So if you ever have a pet that's actually going to go down and start to eat away at the roots and things like that, or oh, even yeah. the stems themselves, you want to make sure that you take that pet to the uh, veterinarians right away. So if you have curious pets, mm. please, please stay away from Easter lilies. And if you are going to use them, then just to be safe, put them in a spot way out of range. Right. Right, right. where they can't, where the kids can't get at it, the pets can't get at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's smart. So besides you have a hydrangea. Smart right. advice. So I love hydrangeas. Yeah. Um, I love these new varieties. They come in all these different colors. Well, take. I'm going to tell you why I have a bowl over here, too. Hydrangeas, okay. this is just a grower pot. That's just the pot that you have on the base of the hydrangea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hydrangeas are a beautiful plant that are water hogs. Like oh, they need a lot. Yeah, so you'll see your hydrangea it'll look really good. You'll go to work, it looks good in the morning, you come home, and then all of a sudden it looks like <laughs> Like totally, it's it looks, it's totally dehydrated, totally <laughs> limp. You're like, oh my God, did I kill it? What happened, right? Right. And honestly, it's like Bleh. just totally. <laughs> so this is going to mimic, I'm just going to slide this over here too. So. What you really want to do is, the best way to water them is we're going to mimic, this is your sink, so okay. this is your kitchen sink. All yeah. you're going to do is just sink your pot in okay. with water, and even though the water's coming out of the outside. Yep. When you do that, as soon as you don't see any bubbles anymore, this one's already been watered, as uh -huh. soon as you don't see any bubbles, your hydrange is watered. Oh, okay? that's a good way and to do it. And this tell. is the easiest way to do it, where you take it out of the decorative pot or decorative pot cover, mm -hmm. and you can almost feel the weight of this. Actually, it's already sucking up the water right wow. away, so you can actually see. You're so see. greedy, hydrangea. No, they, they are. Like, Holy moly. And if if you're not, if you're a person that is really bad at watering, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, do not. <laughs> Don't get some. Do not. Or okay. unless you want to support the uh, growers out there, yeah, right. buy many of them. I get succulents, Frankie. That's where I, that's where I'm at. Um, you're right? at a succulent. succulents. Yeah, they and then, need almost no water. And then finally, if you want a little hint of spring that looks like just like a little bit of a rose, oh, that's, that's ranuncula. 
Okay. And ranuncula is an easy plant that will do very well for you indoors. And this yeah. is one that you can use outdoors as an annual. But the key about spring is just please bring some color in. Everything from violas to begonias, colors here. The one color that I say don't don't is red. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Because it's too Christmas? Red to me is like Valentine's Day and yeah. Christmas and you know we're gonna have a lot of red this year with Canada 150 yes. in the summer so red let's and white. let's just go right now with a bunch of pastels those bright yeah. those kind of colors and then we'll go on to red and white when Canada 150 comes July 1st. I like that. That's a great idea. Yeah.